Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones, the new subscribers. You know, that's what makes the Uncut Squad, by the way. And, um, you know, if you're just not stumbling across my platform as you come in, please wipe your feet all over my welcome mat by hitting that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Trolls on their guard and your mama can love you. And last but not least, last but not least, last but certainly not least, y'all, I, I want to send a shout out and a salute to the Uncut Squad, you know, salute to the gifted family, the big bros corner, you know, that one time. Yeah, yeah, you know that one time. Yeah, yeah, that one time. And we're going to go ahead and do that one time for Big Bro's Corner, Big Bro's Backup, y'all. And we going to give it to God, the real MB MVP, the savior of everything, y'all. And then we going to say two salutes to the G.O.D. and get on into this. I am so sad. It is such a bad day in America. I'm, I'm trying to keep it together. Now listen. Not only did Joe Biden fall again today and make everybody knees look weak in America. But I'm sure y'all got the news about Joe C and Aaron Hall. So I've taken the liberty to go back and just study all this music from back then, y'all. Everybody, I mean everybody was under the gun. Okay, so I just want to focus on some things. When Cat Williams said on Club Shay Shay that 2024 was going to be the year that the truth comes out, that it was going to be the year of exposure, not only is he a comedian, this brother is a psychic, y'all, because he's right. Jodis C, the group Jodis C, oh, if you're around my age or older, you know exactly who Jodis C is. We grew up on Joe C. You know? Aaron Hall. Okay, here we go. Like, I went back and I examined lots of songs. Troop had a song called All I Do Is Think Of You. And in one part of that song, he says, or they say, Hey, little girl, I love you. Troop. Go back and change those lyrics before they come out to you thinking you were connected to Diddy. Those are incriminating lyrics. Go back and change them or you're going to be under investigation. What if their name come up in this? I hope it doesn't. God cover them. I hope it doesn't. But they're taking all of our artists from us, y'all. All of our artists. Yeah. God. God had Mr. Aaron Hall in it. Yep. God had Mr. Aaron Hall in it. Yep, they had Less Chill. Y'all remember Less Chill? Aaron Hall was a part of that group. Aaron Hall. Now, you know he was chilling with the 15 and 16 year old girl in New Jersey, right? We know he was chilling. Is that who he was singing Less Chill to? Is that who he was singing Less Chill to? And then, you know, Less Chill also started out by saying, from the first time I saw your face, girl, I knew I had to have you. 1516 just got caught up, just got cased up, named in the new P. Diddy lawsuit, Aaron Hall. The key word was girl, y'all. The key word was girl. Yeah, I took notes for this one. The key word was girl. He could have said lady, woman, bae, cougar, side chick. Something less incriminating than girl, you know. And let's not forget, Aaron Hall also had a hit song called Don't Be Afraid. That's right. Yep, he did. Now, while he was busy telling whoever not to be afraid, is this the same time that he was drugging these two young ladies, these two underage girls? Can you imagine him dropping something in a drink and walking up to this this minor, this underage 15 and 16 year old girl that they had out here in New Jersey with with with, with P Diddy and 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 Joe to see? Can you imagine him walking up to her like, "Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid." And then he incriminates himself because the ad libs go, 
Be afraid, baby. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid. Now he's telling you be afraid. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid. Around here drugging little girls talking about don't be afraid. I would never look at music the same, y'all. I would never look at music the same. Now, listen. My man Keith Sweat, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm praying for you, brother. I'm worried. But you need to go back and change some things too, brother. You need to go back and change some things because I can't wake up tomorrow and see your name in these tabloids. I would go crazy, Mr. Sweat. I would go crazy. But come on, Keith. You got a song, There's a Right and a Wrong Way to Love Somebody. Okay. Now the title is okay. But how you started out the song, Mr. Sweat, Somebody would think you was hiding these little girls at the Sweat Motel. Allegedly. Why am I saying that? Didn't he start out by saying, you may be young, but you're ready? Huh? Ready to learn? You're not a little girl? You're a woman? You know, didn't he say that? At the end of that song, didn't he say, you're a big girl now? No more daddy's little girl? Didn't he say that? Didn't he say that? That is suspicious. That is almost self-incriminating. You know, the perfect line for an underage girl who wants that music contract, who wants that limelight. Oh, y'all don't believe me? Somebody had to say the same thing to Aaliyah and Foxy Brown where they're not underage. Did R. Kelly not marry Aaliyah underage? Did he not? Do y'all not see where I'm going with this? Do y'all not? Poor Michael Jackson. Poor Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson told y'all Billy Jean was not his lover. He told y'all the kid was not his. And y'all put him under investigation too. Y'all put him under investigation too. Yes, y'all did. Yes, y'all did. Do y'all see how this is going, y'all? All this time we listening to the, what we think is good music, but this music is self-incriminating. It's self-incriminating. Okay, they heard R. Kelly say, seems like you're ready, and they investigated him permanently. Permanently. Soon as R. Kelly took to the stage and said, seems like you're ready, they questioned. They questioned Mr. Kelly's intentions. They had this dude under permanent investigation. I heard he's locked up again. First I heard he was out and he was out. Now I hear he's locked up again. They're never gonna let they're never gonna let him go. Jody C. Jody C. Jody C. Devontae Swing. Jojo and KC were all named in this lawsuit. Nah. Listen, KC, it, it, it is terrible to run around here drugging little girls and Harley. Who, yeah, no, no. Uh, lately, he's had the strangest feelings. I bet you have. <laughs> the feds were watching. I bet you have the strangest feelings. I bet you have. You've just now been named, sir. You've been named. Jody C had a song that came on, I think, uh, can't remember the song, but it comes on, don't talk, just listen. You know, I think it was stay. And then he goes, it starts out by saying, uh, sorry I left you, left you crying. Man, you done drugged the little girl, done took advantage of the little girl, now you gonna make a song apologizing to her, talking about, sorry I left you, left you crying. Since you've been gone, I've been all alone. Come on, man. Were they singing about what they put these underage girls through? Were they? Were they? Y'all go back and listen to a lot of these songs. Re-examine the lyrics to a lot of these songs. You know, I, I, I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine how this slipped through the cracks on us. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. You know, Keith Sweat, please go back and change those lyrics. You may be young, but you're ready. Didn't you see what they did to R. Kelly? Don't you see what they... What is going on in Hollywood? What is up with y'all singers? Huh? What is up with y'all singers? They used to hide... In, they, listen, they used to encrypt songs. It wasn't until I got old that I knew what Marvin C's meant by Candy Liquor. And he was not talking about a Tootsie Roll. 
No, he was not. But it wasn't until I got older that I understood that. They cleaned it up. You know, I heard about Jody, but I ain't never know who Jody was. I understand who Jody is now. You know, clean your music up. This cannot continue to happen. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and see somebody like Keith Sweat in the news because of those lyrics. I don't want to hear he investigated because of these lyrics. We need something we can fall back on. Listen, Whitney Houston was ruined. They talked about her drug habits, y'all.